Well, anyways, let's look at this um, uh, patient. So she's a nursing student. She's a, 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 a she's a very good uh, uh, patient, anxious. Uh, she's uh, engaged to the uh, military uh, um, guy who is uh, always away, and uh, she has a little bit of TNJ problem. Uh, that's her smile. So let's look at her uh, uh, face. So she has a uh, she has uh, she's blonde hair. Her uh, uh, forehead is fine. She has eyebrows that are okay. Uh, eyes, you know, nice, beautiful eyes. But you know, what distracts from those eyes is her bulbous nose and shallow smile, and uh, kind of that protrusive uh, face a little bit. So let's look at her profile. Again, forehead is nice, nice ears. Her eye is in fr is in front of the cheek. Nasal hum. Very distinctive uh, nasal uh, uh, nasal length here, uh, and uh, very poor dental support for her lips. Her face is, uh, sort of speak, squashed, and uh, you can see that all this profile is just not supported by this by the skeleton at all. Uh, she has a little double chin. She's not overweight or anything like that, uh, but that's her. Um, uh, problem. So I think her main problem is nasal base, nasal projection. That's a good term. And then, if you look at the angle, you can't even define it because you know it's just the nasal nasal projection is so large. You want you want it to be smaller to have that lip definition better. But uh, let's see what we did. She has very minimal scale, uh, dental deformity. Dr. Nolly, what do you think? That could be treated with therapy probably. But she's uh, re refer, you know, referred for the orthognathic surgery because she wants one stage procedure. So all those patients, we have to talk about uh, uh, their profiles. Uh, uh, and we find it in 2D uh, first and uh, show them uh, how they may look like. Um, this is not bad occlusion. She only has crossbite uh, on one side. Um, she, she probably could get you know one piece uh, um, I mean, uh, two piece or three piece lift work and lift her mandible alone, she would be fine, or even get sarki, or even get a palatal expander of some sort, just minim minimal, sur minimal surgery. So her staff is here, uh, and uh, this is her after surgery. So I'm showing you a picture right after so we can uh, discuss it. So look at her pupil now and look at her cheek. Look at her nasal projection. Nasal hump is still there because you know I I didn't I was not doing uh, nasal surgeries and uh, her nasal labial angle is much better and we lengthen distance from here to there so her soft tissues draped over the skeleton nicely so this is her surgery uh, it's uh, double plating this is her gap no chin surgery so she didn't need chin surgery at all so we didn't even plan for that she had perfect chin. Uh, length and uh, uh, profile, but the thing is, this thing was short, so it looks squashed. So this is her bite, uh, uh, approximately two months after surgery. Uh, this is her bite after. So uh, uh, this orthodontist was uh, 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 very brave, and they gave the patient positioner. Positioner is something that sinks the bite after uh, surgery. Uh, the patient's joint uh, was excellent. She only had clip, but her actual condyles were pretty large. So uh, in in this case, you know, I, you know, it was six years ago when I did this case. Uh, I didn't know uh, too much about condyle resorption then. Just just a little bit now, we have more knowledge that I probably not recommend the positioner, uh, but it was okay. So you want to have retain retainers that do not have any plastic or wires in between the teeth. So uh, acrylic is okay on the lingual surface on the palatal. Um, but nothing in, in between. The best uh, retention is the big cusps and overjet uh, that locks the bite. So stable result two, three years after. Uh, again, she had upper jaw widening. So we did a wipe, we widened her jaw um, uh, and uh, uh, lower jaw and upper jaw came forward and she got cheek implant, no chin. Uh, what else did we do? We made her smile bigger. 
how we advance the upper jaw down. So when she smiles, she shows more teeth. You, when you smile on a female, you wanna at rest show three millimeters of teeth at rest when you're when you relax and uh, and your mouth is a little bit open. And then you wanna have uh, in that smile show full length of teeth and maybe one, two millimeters of gum, ideally. Okay. 